Dead Branch. Which gives us a random card whenever we exhaust a card. A Corruption popping into our hands just after picking up the shard and the Dead Branch. It's here and it's time to get very silly. Now this is not a not a boss swap seed, this one. Starting as silent with this seed. This seed, 2A6SRU. And all I know is that I am supposed to take a particular path at the start of Act 1 and choose the third starting bonus. Let's see what nonsense this leads us to. So option number three, take 15 damage, gain 250 gold. And then our pathing is... Question mark, question mark, question mark. We go to the three question marks. Monster, rest, monster. Okay, so we go to here. Relatively low on elites, but that's fine. That is definitely fine. Give me the money! Give me the money. Oh, jawworm. Never change. So the, the amount of pathing that I've followed before freeballing it on this one, Popicle, is not too far. We go to here, 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 and the pathing ends at this fight. So right before the, the first chest of the act is when the prescribed pathing ends. Choice of options. Cloak and Dagger, Outmaneuver, Infinite Blades are the three picks. Not very much a fan of Infinite Blades, although I do think Infinite Blades is more takeable against uh, the slime boss. I'm gonna go with the Cloak and Dagger. Stay acceptable early skill pick. Does a little bit of damage, and we're offered Bonfire Spirits, which could heal me to full here had I taken an uncommon card. We're gonna give up the strike instead, or a strike instead. That stinky strike. Question mark number two is the merchant. Hello, merchant. Hello, hello, hello. I believe I'm supposed to buy this. The prismatic shard enables us to obtain all list cards from... Or, uh, Obtain cards from all colors in our combat reward screens. We take that. And what else do I want here? It's like a concentrate, <laughs> concentrate sneaky strike eviscerate. It's all quite interesting. We take Omomori. Take a card removal and some potions. This metamorphosis is kind of interesting. Get card removal and a potion though is a reasonable choice. One of those runs, yes. One of those runs. Got one more strike, and I'll take the Swift Potion for the card draw. Be on our way here. And let's reach inside for a relic. Scrap ooze. Ouch! Ouch! Success! After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a... relic and yank it out. You pull your way out of the ooze, damaged, but rewarded with a dead branch. Which gives us a random card whenever we exhaust a card. You get like generating adrenaline. Good stuff, dead branch. Good stuff, dead branch. An entropic brew. Ooh, turbo? Turbo? Turbo with dead branch. That's pretty spicy. 
with dead branches very spicy indeed. Take it. You have to go here. Now that we have a dead branch, upgrading the Cloak and Dagger for one more shiv seems pretty exceptional. Go ahead and do that. And fight the two lice! Deadliest foes in all the spire. Lousy opponents. The lice. What's that? Who could have possibly seen this coming? I'm sure no one in chat could have anticipated a corruption popping into our hands just after picking up the shard and the dead branch. It's here and it's time to get very silly. Dead branch corruption, one of the most powerful combos in the game. Normally an ironclad exclusive, but Silent here is going to get to see what it looks like when you generate random silent cards and all the skills are free. Should be a pretty good time. I guess I don't need this fifth potion, do I? No, I do not. I am going to that store, so I'll go upgrade Relic Fight the Elite. We'll upgrade the Corruption. Almost assuredly. Let's go. Ooh, and a toy Ornithopter, healing us five whenever we use a potion. Fifteen health right away. First up, the sentries. <laughs> we get corruption on turn one. Let's go. So every time we play a skill, they're all free and we exhaust them, which then creates more random cards, which might well be skills. Might be. Use this power potion as well. The after image that sounds pretty great. Last time we did seated runs, Kraken. That's uh, that's one of the, the one of the ones that was featured was uh, Master Reality Dead Branch Watcher. A good time. Gotta get more Cloak and Daggers. Let's go. Play this in Venom? Sure. Burst Turbo! Actually, no. Burst Crippling Cloud. Go! <laughs> choke? Oh my god, Choke? Choke is a spicy card here. GG nerds. Got about a dozen or so to uh, to pick through fireworks. Always appreciate more unusual things to true inspire. Not bad. Go for the eyes, rebound, forethought. Our hand at the bottom of the draw pile. Huh? Forethought is not the card I would have genuine generally imagined here. So, I'll skip all this. I want some skills to exhaust. Right? Like more Cloak and Daggers and Terrors? Terror seems really good, applying 99 Vulnerable. Could take the Boat Thingy for Blanc on turn 1, that's also quite good. Backstab also very good, right? Generates a new card. I'm gonna avoid this store. I think I'll do two events. Let's go, let's go Terror or Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger is two cards in one. And that terror is just gen generally useful. Twelve cards! Storm of Seal? No, no, I need that. Hold on. Yes! 
Yes, we got it! Storm of Steel is here! So what if we got a doubt? So what? The Storm of Steel is here. Everyone's favorite silent card. When you have Dead Branch Corruption. Daytime. First bullet time? Even better. Inns! Tinks? Kind of wild. Bane rebound acceptable. Things is, is kind of adorable, though. We really don't need much of anything. We have we have the winning combination already, right? Thanks. Corruption, are you there? Draw would certainly be a, a great thing to add, uh, something like an acrobatics or even just prepared. Second wind. <laughs> Lost all non attack cards in hand. I mean, sure. Yeah, second wind. I'm gonna upgrade the other cloak and dagger. Him to make more shivs. the leg. And I went on turn one, that's the important question. Answer might surprise you. Three hundred vulnerable. More shivs. Like you do. <laughs> Got them. Got them. Pretty good choices for the rare card. Hard to go wrong with Master of Strategy here. Just zero cost, draw three, and exhaust. Malay's not bad either. But let's take a... The master strategy gets the corruption in play quicker. That's really all we care about. Let's go. This here, kind of a cute busted crown. He is here. In a sec, use a pyramid. Every turn, you no longer discard your hand. It can definitely be awkward with a dead branch. We can get stuck with what we generate. It's pretty good with the corruption, though. Otherwise, we're getting additional energy from the cursed key. It will give us curses. The hand might indeed get filled with bad unplayable attacks. I think Silent in particular could manage the pyramid here. 
because we'll be able to discard certain stuff with our generated silent skills or with Storm of Steel. Probably better off just with more energy bell. Let's take the cursed key. With the prismatic shard, I don't want to take the busted crown. As we'll lower our number of options in card rewards, and that results in less funny stuff happening, probably. That is unacceptable to me. We'll deal with the curses. Happy about it. I'm gonna try to do this, too. This way. Take that burning lead at it, minimum. By means, we're probably not gonna open this chest. Big stinky afterwards. Let's head to an early shop. We can afford to remove the current curse. Let's see what awaits us beyond. Awesome! Thank you so much for that prime sub and the two months. Sorry, the four months. The 42 months. One million months. Pretty alright, turn one. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block is pretty cool with all these shivs. I like that a lot. Sashwit Plus is decent too for some weekend. Take the rage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a silent. Age. Want more card draw? Acrobatics is here to offer us some. Do acro and remove the curse, which I like quite a lot. Could also think about buying Flash of Steel, buying Accuracy, buying a Waffle. Hey, Ibex, the game vote did end already. I, oh, I meant to put that in the announcement. The official winner of the game vote was the Return of the Obradin. We'll be playing this month. Probably before the end of the week. Uh, our usual Sunday stream won't be happening on the 28th. Be taking the 28th off. So this is the only Sunday stream remaining this month. And just Sparky, yes. A flock of birds, a herd of crack, herd of cows, a murder of crows. What do you call a group of cultists together? A caucus of cultists. Hard sell, Ranwid. Note that I'm not allowed to drink the Entropic Brew right now. Can't drink it and then try to give it to him. Me, Ranwid. Eh. It's for me today. I guess I'll, I guess I'll give this up for a, uh, for a relic. That was well worth it. The second win in Acrobatics upgrades are awesome there. Done deal, sir. Done deal. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> That's a good one, I see Wubbles. Tempted murder. Tempted storm of steel recursions. Dazing begin. Help. 
My draw pile looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. Frogzar, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub and the 19 months of waiting. That's a lot of days. Flash of Steel? Seems like a relatively free addition to the deck. Zero cost, draw card, sure. Don't mind if I do. Let's take one more event here for a myriad of reasons. First for a relic. No deal. Thank you. Stinky writhe. Baby, your storm of steel's here. Or er, wait, it was here. Now adrenaline is here. I'm gonna have so much block. I don't even know. <laughs> is there no end to this power? Grand finale again, by the way. Calipers! Now we can always retain our block from turn to turn. And we're being offered some real juicy stuff. Third Eye Plus lets us scry for five, or Crescendo lets us get into Wrath Stance. Which means all these attacks will do double damage. I'm gonna take the Wrath Stance, please. Sounds great. We're gonna upgrade. She just rage now that I have calipers. Five block for attack. I play this turn. Choke. <laughs> Flame gives us, it's already upgraded, giving us three points of strength. Combine that with the Crescendo, these uh, individual daggers are going to start to do enormous amounts of damage. Holy moly. Said we'd be skipping this chest. That's correct for now. Don't open this, don't get the relic, don't get the curse. Upgrade. It's our card draw. Won't matter if the corruption's already in play, but if it's not, that'll help. Get a kill on turn one, is the important question. Answer may surprise you. Do we want a stance exit card? I'm not sure. Simultaneously useful and overkill? Do 
We want our pressure points? Probably not. Partially depends on what the eg exit is. If it's a palm entry card that doesn't do anything else, like Tranquility, uh, I don't know that I would want it. Now, Empty Mind would be good. One leader. Well, I got Corruption on turn one. There goes nothing. So while in Wrath Stance, all damage is doubled, including the bonus damage from Strength. So Neutralize immediately goes to 12, for example. Slice is 18. And Storm of Steel, well, each shiv is 21 damage, so see you later, nerd. Good turn one, we get the Sneko Skull, making our poison apply more poison. And some sweet, sweet rare cards, an after image or a doppelganger. Also a genuinely very good good instincts plus here. Nine block for zero energy. I think we want after images to go with the calipers and to go with our kind of card spammy incentive here. A couple of these will help counteract the beat of death from heart, for example. Bites! Don't need no stinking bites. Today. Got too few strikes left in the deck, and we're already perfecting most combats. If you aren't taking damage, you generally don't need the bites. Which block can I make on turn one? Let's find out. Oh, no, no, that'll prevent me from drawing cards, right? Yeah. This is over. <laughs> Not even close. Reserved Insect will make future elites even smaller. I don't like this Sanctity. Last card played this combat was a skilled draw too. Take that, and we will upgrade our after image. Let's make this show up on turn one. Makes it a bit more manageable against the heart. Go ahead and wrath on turn one, because why wouldn't I? Shets does 21 times 4. Dear. So much damage output. Once once both the Inflame and the Crescendo go down, you can see that our damage output per card gets real spicy. And Core Surge, huh? It's an interesting trio of options. Whenever we apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 5. Core Surge, a much valued source of artifact, or more potions. With the Alchemize here. Alchemize is the benefit of being an exhausting skill, too. Take the Alchemize. Do some potion stuff. And I don't think we need a fusion hammer, but I'm pretty happy with a black star from for more relics off the elites. Also the tiny house for a bunch of stuff. I'll take a black star here. Our first boss is going to be Donu and Dekka. 
won't do anything to stop our stupid nonsense. How unfortunate for them. I do have to open the mid-act chest. That could be a bit of an obstacle if I path that way. It'd be more safe to go here. Feeling brave. Go for three leads. Make it spicy. Okay, we can make some money off this fight. Good. Good. Surely we wouldn't get a normality, right? That would never happen. Cards gain more energy. Sure. Hologram wasn't bad either there, for the record. I'm not gonna take bad this is. Want a distraction, maybe? Do we want an Nunchaku, maybe? And we play ten attacks, gives us an energy. We play a lot of attacks every turn. I I want or a Calcum. Or the Handrail. This gives us vulnerable when we break the block of an enemy. Probably the least purchased relic in, in the game for me. Not to say that it's terrible necessarily, but I just don't personally find a lot of use out of it. Magnetism could be cute. But a mummy hand, I have a hard time with this card sometimes. I'm gonna remove a strike. Call it a day here. Completely adequate and average shop. We'll happily look at uh, colorless cards. We want more stuff like Master Strategy. Hell, Dramatic Entrance is pretty okay. Terrible Bandage up either. We'll definitely take Secret Technique to fetch a skill from the draw pile. Put Bandage up with the Dead Branch. It's always this easy, Chrono. Never gets any harder than this. You play, you should also find it this easy. All the time. Hello, world. I'm gonna try this. Still make silent commons, right? Slightly sized, thank you so much for the two months and the tier one. To be clear, I, I don't think the Hello World is particularly good, I just want to see what it does. So now angry. Thank you. 
So I can't play these shift cards because there's never any room in my hands. Shiv does 49 damage, 50 damage. Fight. And since Burger makes us intangible and the meal ticket heals us at shops, Apotheosis will upgrade every card in the deck for the rest of combat, including all the ones we've generated. I like it. Good target for a secret technique as well. Spiker, your time has come, and so has mine. Stuff. All up with calipers. Great way to generate some block for us. Not a bad cold snap either. I think with the calipers we want the wallop. Wall OP. Gives us block based on how much damage we do with it, which is going to be tons. Different ways to go double elite. Don't need any more upgrades now that we have an apotheosis. Well, let's avoid the fire. And go to the left. And some potions! This potion very good for the hearts, although I'm probably going to be changing these out a few times. This we do have to open. We get a clumsy, the easiest least consequential curse to deal with. Lucky us. Lucky, lucky us. Prismatic Shard, oh, Con Badger, you have no clue what you've stumbled into here. Good times. Dead Branch 2, not... <laughs> yeah, that's that's also part of it. Double After Image pretty good, too. And Brexter, thank you so much for the Prime sub and the seven months. Right, corruption in play, the dead branch, corruption silence online again. Get him. Alright, so I can't draw those yet. Oh, yes I can. Sweet. <laughs> You're good. With Storm of Steel. Yeah. Got him. The Vajra for plus one strongitude. Scrape here? Wait a minute. Draw five cards, discard everything that's not zero cost. That does work with Corruption. I'm gonna try it. Take a scrape, stick it in this hot pile of nonsense. I think a duplication potion for our after image against heart could be a good idea. I 
again. Time to get on. Had an achievement a weekend. Finally got Amethyst Plus, Minimalist, and Speed Climber. Thanks to the insights from the channel. So happy to hear it, and thank you so much for those 500 bits. Really? Oh yeah, we have Wrath Stance, too. In case anyone missed that part of the deck. Still A20, that's right. This, believe it or not, this this nonsense is occurring on A20. With this seed. Yes. Knock for one million. needs it. Flex, maybe? Nah. But happy that we have an Ancient Potion now to block the Vulnerable from Heart. We'll take an event here. Fight! Fight against the Maw. Get more Corpse Explosions anyway. So... Hello World generates a Cloak and Dagger. Useful. Very useful. That does 11 times 6. Get him. Already have Terror for Vulnerable. Equilibrium could be cute. That helped with the defect run that we had. We'll say now. Giant Head Rematch. How's it going, sir? I left you. No apotheosis for us. Here we can show off the interaction now, I think, between uh, Scrape and Corruption. If we play Scrape, we'll draw five cards, and anything that's zero cost stays in hand. 
Dude. Pretty sweet. Not that we, you know, need it, but it's cool. Accuracy that says plus. Why? Sure. Got enough shivs. Now... So do these bosses. Check our... Apotheosis? No, our card drop. Text played and counting. Don't even have the corruption in play yet. Weird. When we kill Decca, Doni will die. In a minute. That was a perfectly mundane turn after that. Time to not throw more cards. To get the proper kill with the grand finale. GG. <laughs> two thump, two thump. Wait, no, we got another boss to be. It's the awakened one. That one couth. Making me fight an additional opponent. Ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. I won't full block if I play that. Let's try to full block. Truly, this will go well. Weirdly. Play the card that will make the Awakened One angry. Let's not do that today. Oh god. Um, draws? Oh? Yikes. I should have played the Apotheosis. See if we can escape our current situation here. There we go. Got a bandage up. Got a corruption. Got a dead branch. All gonna be okay. Oh yeah. All gonna be just fine. Come 
more. Teen times nineteen. Who's you? Nightmare Sneaky Strike with Phantasmal Killer. They do 52 damage each. Prepare yourself for the power of sneaking. EEG, wow. So we had Wrath Stance plus Phantasmal Killer for quadruple damage there. EEG. Two thump, two thump. A deep, pulsing dread all throughout the room. This, the heart of the spire, the source of all these shiz. Yes. And we don't even need to rest thanks to the magical power of the meal ticket. Upgrade. Look the apotheosis. Since I've been drawing it before the corruption often enough. old chemical X's here. Take some more max health in the form of the strawberry, which I'm thinking about. You don't have any X cost cards, right? You know, purity seems pretty good with the dead branch. Purity seems really good. Shiv nanigans. I can afford purity plus card removal. I don't think that also lets me buy the strawberry, does it? Oh, it totally does. Nice. Let's do it. A little bit more max health for the heart. Cool. Like that more than... We had exactly exactly enough for Chemex? That's probably telling me that I should have bought the Chemex. That's okay. Onwards to our final... Battles. Actually, we want to kill the Spire Spear first here. Double Storm of Steel. What could it mean? Good old Scrape Corruption. Steps. Answer to everything.
impervious. We got the boot. Increasing our minimum attack damage from 4 to 5. An Akabeko making our first attack do more damage. And I happily take an impervious here as well for big old 30 Blanc with the calipers and the corruption. Onwards to the hearts. This one will be a little bit at the mercy of when we draw our corruption. We do have a duplication potion after image. No stinky beat of death to worry about. Newly generated masterful stab at zero cost, interestingly. Yeah, who needs the incense burner? Not us, that's for sure. Although it might have helped a bit. We do get corruption at nice and early. Good. Very good. Fear. Fire potion, huh? I'll lose the hello world then. Nightmare Boulet time. Sounds wild. Yeah, I mostly want to play Malays at the end of the turn, so now we bullet time. Take everything in hand free here. Lock in the world. Well, that was a pretty good turn. Got so many bullet times. Next turn. Let's just empty the hand. We almost made our buffs <laughs> buff bar touch the heart. Maybe we can get all the way there. Another quad damage turn. That feels pretty alright. Make some block. Make some shivs. Sixty three damage shivs. Okay. Thank you, do. Gamble will just discard our entire hand. I did it.
I can just keep making more cards though. Alchemize can make fairy and regen potions mumble and tumble. It's rather the the dead branch can't create alchemize in the first place is where that where that disconnect occurs. As a general rule, the dead branch can't create anything that would heal you. I guess alchemize is such a card. For Distraw, though. I should play the fumes for more buffs. Get him. Incense Burner finally here to make the difference that we needed to win this fight. Gee. Get him! Toasty Fire Bot. Hey, hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now.